I'm going to show you how to use the type on a path tool in order to create a uh, text that wraps around a shape. You can see here that I've used two circles and this you might use if you were creating like a, a badge style logo or something like that. We'll start by creating a circle shape and this will be one half of the uh, text here. So I'm going to add the word delightful. You can click and hold on the type tool and click type on a path Then click anywhere on the path and it will fill with placeholder text. And then you can start typing uh, your first word or your first words. You can see in my example that uh, this is actually made up of two different shapes. So that's what we're going to create here. So with this first word, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and just take the text style from my example. You can see it's centered and uh, it starts to move around a little bit on the path. And so that's what we're going to work on here is positioning the type exactly where you want it. There are a couple little hidden shortcuts. If you hover over some of these extra lines, you'll see this shortcut, my cursor turns into a left or right arrow and you can click and pull that and that will adjust the start and end points of your text. It's almost like a text box. You can see it disappears here if I make it too short. This is the key one here. Uh, it is an up arrow. Rather than left or right, you can see the cursor turns into an up arrow. And if I click and pull that, I can pull the text into the interior uh, of the shape. We're going to use that for the second part of the text in just a second. So I'm going to make that second shape. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste my first word here. And I just do Command F so that it will paste right on top of my first one. And I can rotate it around so I can see my two separate text boxes here. Um, I'm going to type in my second word. And I will just kind of rotate it about into the place that I'd like. Um, so right now, the two words are on the same baseline, but they are two different shapes. They're two different type on a path shapes. Um, you can see in my example here, I have the bottom word is on the inside of the shape. Um, and so I need to flip that with that little shortcut. Make sure you look for the up arrow and then you can click and drag and the text will uh, use the baseline on the inside of the shape. So you can see here that uh, we are going to adjust the baseline because right now this is on the outer uh, of this shape, this baseline, and this baseline is kind of creating the inside of the shape. So they actually aren't in the same area. So I'd like these two pieces of text to kind of line up. In order to do that, I am going to keep adjusting the shape a little bit and I'm going to hold shift and alt at the same time. And I'm going to expand this shape so that the uh, that line is lining up to the cap height of my first word, delightful. You can see that the uh, text actually also scales and I want it to match again. So I'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool one more time. Uh, but generally they're in the same uh, space now. They're lining up a lot better as if they're living within the same circle. So I'll eyedropper and get that text style back. And there we have my two words, two shapes lined up using the type on a path tool.